Libra friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to cover the next two weeks for you guys, May 20th to June 2nd, 2019, for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. And just keep in mind, I'm reading for a lot of you, so it's not going to resonate with every single one of you. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Definitely feel free to watch your other signs. The Radiant Rider Weight. I'm also going to use, pull you guys, Denise Lynn, love her, many decks I have of hers, Sacred Travelers, and of course, a Monology Oracle card. They're amazing. Libra. Libra. Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. May 20th to June 7th, 2019. Your cards feel perfect. Very nice. Libra, those of you that would like to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go, links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Um, Facebook Live every Wednesday for your weekly general reading. Love to have you guys follow me there. That's your overall energy. Wow, this looks nice. Oh, that doesn't. So, well, I mean, at least it's behind you. I mean, you're getting this early. Today is the 16th. So you could still be going through this energy of the Ten of Swords. You know, which is you know, just a very difficult time. You know, someone stabbing you in the back. Lies, deceit, betrayal. It, definitely an ending. You know, for some of you, there could have been something that happened that led up to that. But, you know, and then for others of you, it does represent that the worst is behind you. You know, when you're completing a difficult time. The Seven of Wands is under this. So, some of you definitely had to fight for what was right. Or stand up for yourself in some way. This is not giving up, not backing down. Like this person, I do see this person, you know, definitely is on higher ground. This person is passionate in this card, in this deck for me, and courageous. You know, and as long as you're willing to keep fighting for what it is that you want, you'll be successful. Some of you are coming out of a difficult time. And you've probably had to be, you know, really strong. Fight for what it is that you deserve. For what they, what you feel is right. I mean, you actually have a great, great spread. Here. You know, could this, it could have even been... A love offer or an opportunity for something that just simply just simply didn't work out and it's interesting your overall energy is the queen of pentacles and then the king of pentacles so you're definitely this definitely could be work related as well you're definitely coming out of a difficult time and I do 
definitely think... So some of you, I mean, you, you could have, you could be dealing with the Nir Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's the overall energy. So male or, and well, it doesn't matter either, if male or female. Some of you could be focused on your job, your career, your business. You know, usually well off financially, giving giving it's a very you know sharing giving sharing energy giving and receiving it's help and support so for some of you it definitely could be financial some of you definitely could be trying to get a loan to start up a business or expand your business You have the Nine of Cups here, happiness, wish fulfillment, emotionally feeling really happy. And it's probably, I mean, because you're receiving some exciting good news. And it's, you know, it's probably something that you've been wishing for. You know. You could have even been wishing for this ending. But it, it's definitely things improving, things moving forward quickly. Quickly. And then you do have the Empress. Actually, you do have a lot of female energy here. You have the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with a female. You know, but I am definitely getting for my women. But some of you could have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in your chart. Or even Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces in your chart. Because I really, with this being the overall energy and the Empress being in your spread, I just feel like some of you are a very, very successful business owner. You know, if you own a business and went through a difficult time, I really feel like <laughs> things are looking up and you're just looking absolutely beautiful. Look at all the colors, the yellow, and all three of these cards are the same. Like, that's just amazing. You know, which is inspiration, happiness, happiness. I mean, really, look at the yellow. I usually don't point this out, but I mean, it's just very, it's, it's just screaming at me right now. Like, that is just a beautiful combination things are getting exciting for you there is a lot of financial abundance there is a lot of security stability coming in for you. Absolutely, things are improving. Especially if it's financial. 
you know, it, it's even going to put you in a position, Libra, to where you're you're able to help other people. You know, if, if someone needs help, you're going to be there to help them. You know? You know, the Empress, you definitely could be giving birth to something new. You know, she's... Whatever you start with the Empress, it's always successful. It's a very successful, abundant energy. And very financially rewarding. And I mean, just another card of success. And you also have two sixes. The six of wands and the six of pentacles. You know, and sixes do represent, you know, peace, harmony, balance. Things feeling lighter, but it represents, you know, victory, success, you feeling, you know, really confident, proud of yourself. Six days, six weeks. June. You do have two major arcana cards here. Definitely could be June. You know, and then with the Page of Pentacles, you know, definitely first, I, feel, I do feel like some of you might be trying to get a loan. You, you know, you're already a successful business owner and you're trying to get a loan to expand your business, grow your business, something like along those lines. And there's definitely good news coming in for you if it's on, you know, financially. But even regardless, the communication coming to you you know, and with strength, you've probably had to, you know, wait on this, be patient. With, you know, with this news information coming to you. It could also represent you going within, relying upon your inner strength. You know, being strong. It also means, you know, having the courage and the confidence when it comes to something, moving forward confidently, moving forward confidently. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a water sign, female, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Communication could be coming from this water sign. Whatever it is, you definitely have success here that's coming to a lot of you after going through a shit time, no doubt. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a couple of women. Aries, Taurus, female. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, female. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Leo. If you have Earth in your chart, in your Moon, or your Venus, if it's love. This is usually the other woman. Could be dealing with two other people, whether you're male or female. I 
if that's the case, I mean, there is a success with it. And that would be a, most likely a Leo for you females. If you're, you know, if you're a female that likes men, I would, Leo, Aries, Leo Sag would be it for you. I mean, just great energy over the next two weeks. Again, career finances uh, just look really, uh, just are great over the next two weeks. Let me get you guys an Oracle card, one of these first. Did I show you these? I'm going to pull you Sacred Travelers, Denise Lynn. Amazing cards. And Moonology. These are the Sacred Travelers. Really great energy. And you're not giving up on it either. Let's not forget that. Somebody's not. There's two cards there. No shit. Um, Moonology. Oh, wow. Listen, I have to say this or I won't be able to concentrate. Look at this. Support is all around you. I mean, th this could be family, friends, even whatever. But even this with just this card, you know, this is definitely support, help, assistance is all around you. So if you're waiting on a loan or money or something, that's definitely coming in. Finding a job, expanding your business. I mean, I mean and then this is crazy. Success expands in your life. Expands. If you're trying to expand... And look at the yeah, I can't make this up. Come on. And all of these cards with this yellow. That, listen, there's a lot of happiness and joy and inspiration around this. Wow. What a nice reading. And, you know, those of you that feel like you, if you feel like you don't have, you know, support or help or even hope or faith, listen, it's coming. Look at the rainbow. Right? Well, it's time to release negativity. Um... Release what's no longer serving you. It's a great time to do that. And that could be absolutely anything. Negative people, relationship, anything that's just no longer serving you. It's a great time to do that. And this is a great reading. Really. Great reading. Oh, you don't even have any sword energy. Maybe, maybe. Not that I ever put signs to this, but, you know, Scorpio just sticks out so much in this card. And you do have water sign energy here. So if you're a Scorpio female, maybe that's why 
I was going to say maybe that's why two cards came out, but it's only one of these. Um, look at all the purple, though, around this card. Psychic abilities, intuition. Intuition with the Queen of Cups, too. Listen to your intuition. It'll be fine. I mean, you're, it's just great. It's great. And it's a great time to do whatever you're doing. Time is now, my friends. Beautiful reading. Those of you that follow me for Facebook Live, I will see you Wednesday. Those of you that do not, I will see you back here very soon. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.